Hello guys, welcome back to another Blu-ray hunting video. Um, I am here this week in Newport. This feels really weird to be like parked where I am because, because yeah, I'm basically parked on a hill that's like that and OG, OG people of the channel would know because um, this is where I always used to park in Newport and um, since then I've worked you know i've had an office in newport so sometimes i just film footage when i'm here and stuff like that but today it is friday i've had the day off i've had some stuff i needed to do this afternoon then it would just so happen to be dune part two release day so i went to see that on day the days come out so i've just literally come out of that now half an hour ago so i thought on the way home the cinema's in newport um it's obviously middle of the day well it's actually like four o'clock ish now so half three so by the time you know i i got, I got two hours free parking here so it's plenty of time to walk over to cex because that's all that's really in newport to be honest cex um which yeah we haven't been to for a very long time on the channel uh neither have i to be honest i i I did go there on Monday, it's Friday now, but I traded in some Blu-rays because I was like sorting out some stuff and I already, I, I, I saw that I had doublers of stuff. So I just, I was working in the office on Monday. So I bought a bag in with me and um and did a drop and go, you know. So I didn't go and have a look because I didn't have time. I was working, I was on lunch, so I didn't I didn't have the time. Um uh, and yeah, obviously here we are. So we're gonna go have a look. Well probably gonna see the ones I traded in, so that's gonna be quite funny. Uh but yeah, here we are. So that's kind of a rundown of where I've been. Um today I need to get my hair cut on the way home as well, I think. Uh but it's a bit late now. I didn't realise it's half three. Doom is such a long movie. I went in at about just after twelve, so yeah, it's uh one of those but yeah i'll have to get my haircut maybe tomorrow or something uh yeah anyways so yeah we are here in newport this week very very excited on this blu-ray hunting day today because the weekend i've got a three-day weekend so it means i can do a lot more um early 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 shout in the video just to say thanks to all the viewers and everything over the last couple of weeks because the last two months has been amazing the first two months of the year I vowed to myself from January that I'm going to really dedicate YouTube. And since then, I have I think I'm hitting like some like 12,000 views a month. Like just mental. And I've gained 200 plus subscribers. So welcome everybody. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe. It helps the channel out. It helps me out. It gets the videos to more people. And um, yeah, just, you know, welcome to the community. I'm really happy about you know where this is going and and all that i want to start doing other things on here like some live streams and stuff like that just so i can actually engage with the audience a bit more and stuff like that so i've been thinking about that as well um in terms of you know fitting that into like my schedule and stuff like that and also just you know being able to do it but if you're also interested on another channel i've got uh, it's called life with james so if you're interested about my life um you can head over there as well um i used to do vlogs before i started doing movie stuff so it's very much me filming my life so it's non-movie related but the last like i've done 10 vlogs and i'd say probably six of those uh five or six of those vlogs are all related to the cinema room so i'm actually redoing it out doing some diy in there and filming my progress um in terms of youtube so like i'm creating a set really um to film the videos in the future so it's all coming together i'd probably say the next week or two it might be at the point where i can actually start filming videos for this channel which will be amazing but it's at a point now where it just needs a, a few little bits and bobs done some smart smart homifying and all that and then um, we'll be good to go so if you're interested in that that progress obviously you guys might be in terms of the movie fans and cinema fans um then please you know go and subscribe over there as well but here we are we are gonna do this today now um and i'm gonna say this if we can get on this video um 80 likes we've done it before we've actually done like 100 but if we can get 80 likes on this video within the first 24 hours, we will do a giveaway next week. If we get 80 likes in the first 24 hours, I will do a giveaway in next week's Blu-ray hunt. So go, go like if you like the content and you always you know miss the like button you know i know most people watch on their tvs on this which blows my mind because like i'm on people's 55 inch 60 inch tvs but yeah you can like on there you just gotta go up and press a little thumbs up thing uh yeah go and do that as well right plugs out the way we're done with the plugs i've i've literally plugged a lot of things in i'm, I'm like an extension lead plugging everything in you know let's go let's go let's go to cex and a few charity shops in newport Here's the context of the hill, by the way. As you can see, I've like turned my tire in so that if the car does fail, it'll fall backwards. Yeah, this feels mega weird to be here. This is the way I normally come in, not for work, but you know, this is the way I came in before ages ago. I don't have a bag this week though, so we're just gonna have to 
deal with it, but I do have, um, I think it's 18, 19 quid on a voucher, which is the stuff I traded in last week. So you might be able to get some bits and bobs there. Newport's a nightmare in the middle of the day for parking. Like the traffic wardens are like really ruthless out around you and stuff. So you gotta be careful where you park. Okay, then here we go. Let's firstly go into regenerate then. Uh, we don't get many of these around, um, but I think there's like two close by me. So we've got some Twilight, some Transformers, a bunch of Teds there. I'm yet to see the new series of this. I need to check that out. Uh, Kick-Ass, Bruno, the Women in Black. Again, all regular tiles. We've got Bridesmaids there with a the pink case and then the entire Twilight collection. Uh, regular tiles. Let's head over to CEX, see what we can find in here. Um, I have been in here, but I haven't looked at the Blu-rays in a while. Looks like they're putting all the 4Ks together now. Same as Cumbran, which is nice. So we have get to here some Godzilla, some Wolf of Wall Street I can see there. Lion King, Batman with a very good looking slip cover. Uh, we get some Predator, uh, Inception, Ready Player One, It, Nope, and then Deadpool 2, the super duper cat. That is only £8. That is a pretty good deal. Uh, there's the Wolf of Wall Street. This is the standard Arrow release. Um, I've got the actual box set, uh, but that's 18 quid. Um, every CEX seems to have a copy of Titanic in it. Uh, £22. Not too sure why people are trading this in, but yeah, maybe it's that collector's edition. Uh, we've got a 3D triple pack here. Never heard of any of these films apart from that R.I.P.D. The rest of them, was it Immortals and 47 Ronan? Never heard of them. I know one's got Keanu Reeves in it. Uh, we've got Babylon here, which is £8. A bit more expensive than, C uh, than HMV, rather, right now. Uh, 6 99 this is in there. Brand new, obviously. We've got The Exorcist, the first movie there, for 8 quid. It's quite expensive. And then we've got an Arrow release there for The Exorcist 3, £18. Never heard of this before. £15, sorry. But never heard of this. I Feel Pretty. This is actually one of the ones I traded in. <laughs> uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife there. Uh, we get some Green Street 2 as well as Green Street 3. This would be an interesting franchise to watch. Uh, we've got House Year, £8, another Arrow title. Enter at your own risk. Ooh, the special edition. Um, yeah, eight quid there for that Arrow release. We've got the entire Hunger Games collection, which again is another franchise that I need to revisit because I've only ever seen it once. And obviously that new movie version has come out. Was a songbook fire thing? Yeah, never seen that, so I'll watch that. Uh, How to Train a Dragon, one of the best animation films ever as well as His Dark Materials. This is the triple season, one, two, and three. This is actually filmed in Wales, would you believe? Um, but yeah, really nice design. Never seen it, but uh, but yeah. We've also got uh, Nail Gun, or Nail Gun, Nail Gun, uh, a slasher movie from 88 Films. Nice looking red case here. Uh, very nice design. 22 quid though, like that's pretty expensive, isn't it? Uh, some Short Sank Redemption there, some Suicide Squad, some Rogue One, as well as some Star Trek, and also Sneakers, a film I've never heard of. Uh, we've got Terminator though. This isn't the Terminator that we know. This is like a TV show, which I didn't even know existed. Is this a spin-off or is this like a continuation or like a prequel? Um, let me know, Terminator fans, because yeah, I've never seen Terminator, so... Uh, we've also got then some Batman. This is some uh, animated Batman, obviously. Uh, we've got some Taken, some more Terminator, some Top Dog. Uh, are they for two quid? Um, yep. Then we've got Talk To Me, which is an amazing horror movie. I ranked this very high in my reviews last year. Very looking, much looking forward to the prequel or the sequel prequel uh, that is going to come out. Uh, we've got The Lost Boys. We've got Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, which obviously I have been revisiting these movies and um, I'm very much enjoying. So if you are interested, please head over and watch my revisiting of The Two Towers. Very, very good film, obviously. Now we're going to go over to the British Art Foundation. Uh, this is quite a big store here in uh, Newport in terms of size. So uh, we'll take a look what we can find in here. There's a lot more clothes in here though. Little DVD section here on the side, as you can see, maybe three or four shelves of DVDs. Um, so yeah, as you'd expect, all the common stuff. Uh, what am I seeing in here? Things like 40 Year Old Virgin, Team America, Hairspray. But one Blu-ray, uh, and they've got Senna for 50p. So not too bad, but only one Blu-ray. Let's go into Sense, though. Um, this is, a, now like, again, another big shop. Like, they all have big units here. They've got a vinyl display, which is nice to see, like, the vinyls there. Because most of the time, charity shops, the vinyls just come together. They've got some Lionel Richie. They've got some Hall & Oates. Like, this album's amazing. I've actually got this exact album brilliant brilliant album for two pound fifty uh movie wise they've got some sound of music which i've actually got this funny enough but yeah uh sound of music the soundtrack uh vera lynn 
Um, just some Cliff Richard stuff, yeah. All the stuff you expect from vinyls in charity shops, you know. Uh, they've got Fast and Furious 6, though, on Blu-ray. It's the first Blu-ray they've got, kind of like they display these Blu-rays, don't they? I find it funny when they, they display them. Uh, they've got quite a fair few. They've got Casino Royale, Fifty Shades, uh, Avengers, as well as Kung Fu Panda 2. That's two quid, so, you know, not as cheap as British Heart Foundation at 50p, but, yeah, so little Fockers there, some Lee Evans, some Hops, some Wolverine. Uh, they've also got uh, Mission Impossible 3, yeah, again, two quid. Box sets, though, on the bottom. They've got some family guys, some sex in the city there as well. About a boy um, in between us, seasons one, two, and three. Uh, Lost, part one, part two of season one. Uh, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. So two disc. This looks like a uh, the movie, but just like in a little box set. That's 50 pence. They've got some Roswell there, some Outnumbered, some Downton Abbey, as well as Season 8 of Friends. Like, look how big this box is. Like, that's how big DVD boxes used to be. Uh, they've also got this complete season for Season 9 of Friends as well. I remember these in the stores, brand new. Okay, walking back to the car now. I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit. And um, I've bought some sodas to soothe it. And see, but yeah, I've got two pickups, so let's get back to the car. Well, the rain has started now, the floor is wet. And I am drenched. Well, saying I was drenched was probably a bit far, but as you can see, I didn't have a coat. At one point, it looked like it was going to hammer down. This morning's been a weird morning, though, weather-wise, because we've had, like, hail as well. So um, it's actually quite funny, actually. I was walking over when it was hailing. And, um, yeah, like, I've never seen him with hail, obviously. So he was just trying to chase every bit of hail dropping down. So, anyways, my voice is going, as you can hear. I haven't been well for the last few weeks, but I've got more soothers with me, so... Um, I need these majorly. Two Blu-ray pickups though, so let's get home and I'll show you guys what I bought. Um, not bad, I wouldn't say it's great, but you know, it's not terrible, you know? So, so let's get home and I'll show you guys what I've bought. Okay then guys, we are back home from Blu-ray hunting. I have got some comfy clothes on now. I've got like my Star Wars bottoms on. I'm just so comfy. I'm getting myself all hyped up and like ready for the evening. I'm having like a really lazy Friday night. I'm just gonna watch a ton of films I think to be honest because I did go out middle of the day you know and it was fun time um you know but yeah I just want to chill. Do you mean I, I'm coming off not being very well the last couple of days so. So we did get two pickups uh one from CEX and one from a charity shop believe it or not so uh yeah i wasn't i was intrigued i kind of thought when i only knew that i bought one thing in cex i just thought to myself well let's give charity shops like a real good look in you know and um and see and and there was one film that i actually needed to pick up and i have been looking for so um it just made sense and in a way i'd rather buy it from a charity shop and you know watch it once and then give it back because you're just giving money to charity it's like instead of renting the movie i guess from uh from somewhere you you just pay pay money to charity you know it's good i don't know anyways so the first pickup then which is actually from cex um was only two quid um so a pretty cheap title and a standard blu-ray of course yeah um this is a horror movie i believe from 2012 i don't know nothing about it um if you guys missed recently i've been doing horror saturday again and when i was going through the collection i was like my collection's very light in terms of uh in terms of horrors so i needed to pick up more horrors that was what i was looking at and um one of them what caught my eye was this one uh so this is chernobyl diaries it sounded interesting on the back so i'll just read the back so it just basically says like so from the creator of paranormal activity which obviously the first ones were amazing but chernobyl diary follows a group of six young tourists who go off the beaten path they go into chernobyl um which is the uh site which had like the um awful disaster nuclear disaster over 20 odd years ago and yeah so they basically go into the abandoned like they want to explore the abandoned city which people do do now um and you can do that and it's on my bucket list i'd love to do it one day but now they've made this horror movie well 10 years ago over 12 12 years ago they made this horror movie and, um yeah i just thought i'd pick it up for two quid give it a go it sounded really interesting um i really like the actual artwork it looks like there's going to be some sort of like child thing happening in here uh which is never good you know at times at the best of times but uh we move uh it says on the back a nerve shredding uh terror we get some extras on here we get an alternative ending we get some deleted scene chernobyl conspiracy viral video and the uri's extremes tour infomercial which i think is um 
you know what you can actually do in real life so here's the back of the movie itself really looks good and in the front as well i really like this design and stuff um, i'm not expecting the film to hold up really well uh, to be honest you know because it's not one i've really heard of but you never know you just got to dive in on some things and um, go into it blind and that's what i like to do so two quid on chernobyl diaries it's the first pickup of the month as well uh, which is good because we reset that now um yeah and then the next pickup then again another blu-ray from a charity shop and again another two pound pickup i bought this from i want to call it sense i think it was called sense i'm not sure what they specialize in and all that but i filmed the beginning of the shop so i'm sure it's on there but yeah i've been looking for this movie and this was a bit of a i might already have it because i'd already bought one in this franchise and it's got multiple sequels and i was like well i don't know if i've even got this one did i buy the first one first or did i buy like the second or third one first um anyways this movie is kung fu panda 2 yeah um i actually did pick up number one a couple of months ago um so i was wondering if this was actually number two so yeah but good news i've got number one and now i've also got number two uh here uh for two quid as you can see there from sense um yeah franchise i've never seen and this month i need to get on them because uh at the end of the month we basically have a uh new release fourth movie like animated movies getting four films there's not many out there toy story cars has got three i guess and kung fu panda's got like four now so never seen it want to get on the high obviously it stars jack black as poe the uh panda and i'm sure it's just a fun movie but we'll give it a go nonetheless so yeah stay tuned over this month where i'll be reviewing both of these and stuff like that uh, but this is the second one i picked up from a charity shop um came with the dvd as well um as well as the blu-ray uh, whereas this one just had the standard deep blu-ray so uh yeah first two pickups of the month four quid spent newport was newport uh, <laughs> uh it wasn't great Do you know what i mean it, it never is though really and, and uh, most of the time i just pop in when i'm working but yeah it's never great i'm also filming on my phone now because i'm having some issues with like my camera which is actually charging up right now so i actually use a camera when i film videos um so i've also got a new purchase coming today had a bit of a disaster this week with the um sd card as you can see so this is well used as you can you can tell uh, but this is one that it's meant to look like this but it looks like this you can see this like bit has come off here uh so yeah this little plasticky bit uh basically yeah that bit got stuck i put my sd card in my what was it four five hundred pound camera and that plastic bit got stuck i couldn't get it out um so i at one point i was thinking i gotta take this camera apart but obviously this card is now done and i've bought another card which is also double the size because you know it'll just help when i'm you know filming offloading footage and stuff like that so they're not made forever these things and you can tell how much i take it out put it in and all that so this is now dead cannot be used so yeah just thought I'd update you on that. I've also got a package that's going to be delivered tomorrow, which means I'm getting a movie for the release date. Um, I think it's going to come tomorrow. So fingers crossed. If we get an unboxing video up on Saturday afternoon, then you know it's uh, been delivered early because it's meant to be out Monday, of course. So that's exciting. And yeah, all is good in the world. We've got two pickups to start the month off. Uh, the franchise that we've been looking for in terms of Kung Fu Panda, so it's just number three to get now. And then also Chernobyl Diaries, which I'm sure we'll watch on a horror Saturday coming soon. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, we are aiming for 80 likes in this video. If we can get that, if you got to the point in the video and you think, Joe, I like this dude. This guy is cool. Uh, his videos are good. He, he's like really clear and he chats well. I don't know, I'm talking crap now. But if you like what you see, subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Obviously, you know, like in the video as well does as well it pushes it to more people which means we get more and more people wanting to watch them and um you know the the movies with james uh contingency of fans just grows and it's just good that's just good for me good for everyone else so uh so yeah so yeah there it is guys there is today's blu-ray hunt thanks so much for watching stay tuned of course this week for all the reviews i've got coming up and um if you want to go and watch all the end of month videos they came out the last few days uh top movies of january as well as the whole video for january so those two big videos are out there and maybe the unboxing as well who knows uh, but yeah thanks so much for watching guys stay tuned for more videos coming soon and i'll see you in the next one goodbye